society to development venture instrument but i'm sure there are more people who have claims that they were also part of it so just in a in sentence a just, i could uh, say that just, just in a sentence just name as many people as you can sure with the understanding that that you may have missed many other people because Absolutely. it's never a one person job it's yes. a, it was a it was a community wide effort mm-hmm. so so how, who were involved who were instrumental and this part will go in the beginning mm-hmm. who were instrumental uh, in the establishment of uh, islamic first islamic institution uh, the masjid in Sorry. delhi the idea that we should have a place for muslims to pray and even before that there was a dire need felt for the education of the muslim children all the credit goes to brother dr iqbal sheikh for that there were hardly any resources he did not feel discouraged he started with three four children right there in his small house along with his wife they started teaching those children and gradually the number started increasing and then several years later as the community started getting somewhat bigger there was a need felt that we should do more that is when we started taking our children to different places like goldie beacom college like university of delaware like cheney state university and for a brief period of time in the islamic center that we bought in tafkanaman now along the way there were many many muslims from our community from delaware who made lot of contributions it is very hard for me to remember even and to name all of them but still i would like to say that in the early stages brother saraj he was the principal of the sunday school and all the teachers including his wife and brother munib's wife um, and later on brother yahya hashim and his wife barbara sister jenny amr brother mahmud uh, nawaz ahmed brother kamar uh, who's no more living in, in dalaber he was once president of this community too and dozens of teachers in different phases of development of islamic education in our community and brother arif niaz some people may not realize his contributions when at one point in the community it was said that we are no we are not capable having of having an islamic school he took it upon himself and got all the necessary permits and started islamic school just outside of the main building of masjid ibrahim in trailer parks in trailer a small trailer that gave us somewhere from 7 to 10 years but he fulfilled that gap and then it was later picked on by brother hashim and by brother hatem again i am afraid that i could miss some names uh mansuri dr mansuri uh, bashir mansuri is another i always thought about him as a very effective but very quiet young man uh, whose contributions cannot be ignored at all he is not in our community but every now and then he 
comes to visit us. Um, so the list is long and we all know that anything, any big project which is completed has contributions of many people who always remain unnamed for all kinds of reasons. It is not at all my intention. If anything, I apologize first to God Almighty for my ignorance, my memory lapse, and then to all those brothers and sisters whose hard work has brought us to where we are today. This is about mainly the educational activities in Masjid Ibrahim and around it. The same way other centers like the Masjid Kasser in Wilmington and other masajid that we have in their own ways they have also contributed to the Islamic education and they they definitely need appreciation. Shikari. In last few years, uh, Brother Ahmad Shakabi has been just a star. I am very fond of him for all his talent, for all his dedication. He is again someone who I call as a quiet worker. But he certainly has taken uh, us to a different level. Um, I, I can, having lived in this community for so long, I can go on and on. Um, it was Brother Shakavi's efforts that we had uh, so far the only uh, health seminar. I hope that we have more of them in the future. Um, people who were involved with uh, Masjid in the beginning, some of those names. Sure. When I look back, um, the efforts for the first Islamic center in Delaware, there have been so many people who made so many contributions. Their hard work, we are so indebted to them. The names like Brother Mahmoud Abdurrahman, who was our president for many years, Brother Yahya Hashim, obviously Brother Iqbal Sheikh, uh, who was the founder of the Islamic society in this state. And then along the way came many other brothers and sisters uh, some of them held official position in our board. Many of them were board members. Brother Iqbal Aziz, uh, he has been involved in fundraising efforts forever. Then Brother Mazum, who was the engineer and general contractor for Masjid Ibrahim. And in his own ways, Brother Jamshed, Brother Elias, they have done a lot to this community. Sometimes people, particularly those who moved in in the last few years, may not realize. Brother Amir, Ahmed Amir, his name also deserves appreciation. He was always a motivating force. He was involved in the building of the Islamic, first Islamic center even before my family moved to Delaware. And from time to time, he contributed very positively. My understanding is that in the last uh, few years, his contributions for Masjid Qasr has been uh, extraordinary. May Allah 
give him full health and recovery as some of the Delaware Muslims know that he was in a serious accident and is bedridden at this point. Again, I apologize for not being able to remember all the names, but uh, I certainly appreciate the contribution made by each and every man and woman uh, in this uh, society of ours in, for the Delaware Muslim uh, community, for their education, for a continuity of uh, good Islamic uh, traditions. <clears throat> Can you name two or maybe three major projects that uh, that Muslim Delaware should be focusing on? When I look into the future of the Delaware Muslims, for the most part, Dubai centers for you. Instead of Delaware Muslims, we use the term Muslim Delaware. The reason being, Achha. Delaware Muslims, you know, Zakat Foundation has has a you know trademark on that. Okay, Muslim Delaware. Uh, Muslim Delaware future. Okay. When I think about Muslim Delaware future, it appears very bright to me. I have good reasons to think about that. I have lived in this community for decades and I have seen how when asked people do rise up to the occasion. When I look at the challenges in many ways the challenges are the same that we had 20 some years back. They may have a different form, they may have a different magnitude the challenges still are how to take care of the growing community needs, the number of people who are living now, what is needed to satisfy their day-to-day -day Islamic functions and needs like prayer, like Friday prayer, like other obligations which means we should be seriously thinking about small Islamic centers in different communities. The other challenge that we had 20 years back now is taking a different shape is the Islamic education. Yes, we do have two Islamic schools and they both have children up to 8th grade, but the bigger challenge is to start thinking and planning up for a high school and perhaps beyond. The third challenge, the way I see is, is the communication. We were contented by having just a few page newsletter and we felt lucky 20 some years back if it was on a monthly basis. Today, there is no reason in the advanced communication era, in the internet era, that we should not be able to spread the word and be able to communicate with all Muslims. They may or may not be coming to the Islamic center, but they are part of us. Whatever ways we use it, if we have to go back sometimes to the print media, then that be the case. This is not for me to decide, it is for the organizations and boards involved in our masajids to think about it. In addition to those three challenges, because we are living in 9-11 era, we have an additional challenge. And the challenge is how to interact with media, how to interact with the community at large, the midstream Americans, and how to neutralize all the negative propaganda which has been there in the West for all these years. 
and not only that, but how to create an atmosphere that they, that the non-Muslims start realizing the real values of Islam. And they also start appreciating that within the three monotheist religions, Christianity, Islam and Judaism, how there are so many similarities rather than differences. So, sorry, she's going to hit all the bases. Um, I'll work on it, inshallah. And 